Hey guys, so I wanted to film a get ready with me, like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I want to try out some new products that I have gotten recently. So I was like, hey, I just want to try them out. So I might as well try them out on camera with y'all. And <laughs> my daughter is in this room. So do you, if you do not like the sound of a child, anything like that, you can go ahead and exit out of this video now because you'll most likely hear her in the background every now and then. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get on started because I look like a hot mess. I'm just gonna go run errands around and go do I'm Basically, I'm gonna go outside. <laughs> I normally, what baby? <laughs> She's like, why are you talking to yourself, you freak? Yeah, you are, huh? Alright, so I normally don't wear makeup when I go out just because I don't care what people think of me, honestly. I know what I can look like when I do put on makeup, so <laughs> it's not a big deal to me. Are you done? You're not done? Sorry I look like I'm legit on drugs. I promise you I'm not. I'm just tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. I'm like, uh. what should I start with first? Let's go ahead and go in with foundation. I just got the new Born This Way foundation and I'm in the color Vanilla. As you can see. And this is like my first time actually using it. You can see. I haven't even pumped it. Oh! We're just going to go with one pump because I do not know how much I need yet because it's my first time using it. I've heard so many good things about this foundation saying that it's medium to full coverage, that it's your skin but better pretty much. Like you woke up, you woke up like this, you woke up like this. I don't know if y'all can even take me seriously when I'm talking to y'all when I have my face all dotted up. Probably not, but huh. Let's just get on with this thing. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques sponge. I'm testing this out to see how I like it if it's a dupe for... Okay, I'm testing this out to see how I like it if it's a dupe for the Beauty Blender. So uh, let me know if y'all want a th review on, on this thing. Because I'll give it to y'all if y'all want it. You know what, I'll just give y'all a review right now. Um... I feel like this sponge soaks up more product, honestly, than the Beauty Blender. And then I feel like I'm kind of beating my face with it. Like it's not soft whenever, I mean it's soft, like you can see it's soft when I squish it and stuff. And this is wet, it's a wet beauty sponge. but. I don't know, I feel like it soaks up a lot more product than it needs to. And like, you would think one pump would be fine for my face. And I'm not using any primer with this foundation just because I'm going outside and running errands. I'm not like, getting ready for a night out, anything like that. Yeah, this, this sponge soaks up a lot of product. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna need another pump of that because it is not the coverage that I want. But the finish on this foundation, so far as I can see, it just looks like my skin, which is really, really creepy. Oh. I'm just so used to foundations being real, um, especially liquid foundations, I'm so used to them being real thick and I don't even know how to explain it like I'm just used to them making me look cake face even though I tried to prevent cake face I mean it's just gonna happen sometimes but it just depends on the foundation and I've never really had a high-end foundation just because I've, I'm real skeptical when it comes to foundations but I'm like skeptical of everything, so <laughs> it just depends on like what I'm going to 
use and stuff. This is so weird. Okay, I'm in love with this foundation. Um, <laughs> I am in love. Let me zoom y'all in. This has like no primer, nothing. Can you see that? How it looks like my skin. It doesn't look caked on. I covered most of my redness. Now I did have to do two pumps because of this blender thing oh so since i just gave y'all pretty much a mini review on it do i like it yes this um real techniques beauty sponge a dupe for the beauty blender no no it's not um it absorbs more product it's harder like i feel like i'm beating my face when i put it on um it's not as soft but is it soft in general yes um, does it apply your makeup flawlessly? Yes. I mean, all in all, you uh, pretty much, it's fine. As long as it applies your makeup flawlessly, I think it's good. So I'm still going to be using it. It's not like it's absorbing everything that I put on my face. I'm just going to be concealing my eyes. I'm not really going for the whole highlighting thing since I'm just going to be going. Oh, what happened? That's right, you're screaming for no reason. And she's done screaming. Okay, baby. No, you don't need my brushes. She likes makeup. All right, I don't know what the hell I was talking about because I got pretty much cut off. So, I'm just gonna set my face with Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Face Powder. And I'm just loosely setting this all over my face just because I love the finish that this foundation left on me. But mama gets oily, so I just need to lightly cover everything. Hey, oh my gosh, I'm loving this foundation. Can you be any more weird? Yes, I can. I'm going to be going in with Milani Powder Foundation in Natural Tan to bronze this face this is not a bronzer i just wanted to find a dupe not for hula but just the physician's formula bronzer because that's 15 dollars. and if i'm going to be going to the drugstore i'm not paying 15 dollars for no freaking bronzer for a drugstore price so this it this was 750 i believe so i'm just going to be bronzing my face and i love this bronzer because it just looks so natural on the face why are my memory cards trying me today? Every time I freaking start a video, then it's like, oh, movie recording has stopped. Why are you stopping? No one told you to stop. Oh. Try me. People want to try me. Try me. But you can't even buy. That's not how the song goes. That's not how the song goes. La la. Okay, baby. <laughs> she just stole my brush <laughs> but I usually just like to contour my nose just because I have a wider nose wide I have a wide nose like a wide load that's how I feel I'm just gonna be using my fit me powder the same color as my skin and just cleaning up this bronzer a little bit Oh, you think you're going to play with my naked too, Pally? Girl, you tripping. No, ma'am. You are not. You are on a whole nother level today, honey. Here, you can play with that. Look, you can play with Chloe's bracelet. I'm going to go in with Wisp Highlighter. Highlighter. Pretty much just going to highlight the crap out of my face with this because... I don't know. That's the new thing. And I'm just going to be using this duo fiber brush. I'm swirling it around in there and then putting it on the high points of my face, as you can see. Okay. Highlight, highlight, highlight. 
Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot to set my under eyes. Who does that? I do that because I want to be crazy. Oh gosh. Dang day, apparently. I'm just going to use the air spoon. Duh. Like this stuff does not let me crease throughout the day. Thank goodness. I forgot to do my eyebrows. I've been going throughout this whole thing and I have no eyebrows on. I'm just going to use the Maybelline eyebrow pencil. I've used it so much that it's down to this. Master Shape. I think that's what it was called. Master Shape. This is perfect for if you do not like to go cray cray with your brows and you want more of a, of a, of a, of a natural look. Or if you're just in a rush like me to do them. And it comes with a little spoolie that you can brush everything out too. Which is perfect. And this isn't like the best thing to use if you're going for something precise. This is more like just running them through your brows to give you some color. Because precise wise, this ain't it. And I'm just going to clean up my tail because I told y'all this thing's not precise. <gasps> Brows done. Oh, what the hell is going on up in here? What is going on? Is that a pimple? I don't know what it is. <gasps> it's a pimple. Oh, well. I'm just going out in public, you know. Doesn't matter what I look like. Oh, okay. Now, with nothing on my face, I'm just going to go in with this NYX Strike a Pose Eyeshadow. And put this all up in my crease with this Morphe M441. Now, I don't have anything priming my lips just because I told y'all I'm being lazy. I'm going out with my hair like this. Do you think I care? No, I don't. I care less. I'm not trying to impress nobody. The only reason I'm putting on makeup today is because I want to try out these products. Because I've been having it and they're just in here. And I'm like, how can you have new products and not wear them? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? How can you? You can't. You got to try it on. Because if not, you just look like a weirdo. Okay? What's the point of having products and not even wearing them? <laughs> now, let me just break shit. Now with girly, I'm just going to put this on my inner corner. Like a soul. It's harder to do with my nails, but I did it. Say hi. <coughs> Say hi. <laughs> Why are you crying? Is it nap time? mascara right quick this is how moms do their makeup well I do at least oh and I'm using the best lash extreme by Jordana this mascara is amazing look at that look at my lashes you probably can't see from far away oh thank you for my concealer Thank you. Back again. Shady's back with some friends. Now I'm just going to apply ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip and Midi. 
which I just got yesterday. But yeah, this is my little get ready with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you all for dealing with my daughter <laughs> along with me and seeing what it's really like to get ready with me and dropping products all over the floor. I hope you'll have a great day wherever you are. <laughs> and we're signing out on that note. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. It's a nap time. <laughs> bye, guys.